Hi, John Gunther. Uh, welcome to my studio and gallery. We're going to go in and uh, take a quick look at the process and then look at the uh, work I have uh, displayed in my gallery right now. So come on in. I wanted to show you a quick look at the raw aluminum uh, that I take. I prime and hand paint each piece. Uh, you need to do two pieces similarly to weave it together. It takes two pieces to weave, so I've got both of these painted. This one will get cut in long strips, this one will get cut in short strips and woven in. When you've woven the whole thing up, you've got a finished piece ready to mount. Uh, these pieces are all mounted and displayed in my gallery. Uh, I make triptychs and single pieces. A lot of them can be hung horizontally or vertically. Um, a number of them have a gentle curve that moves from one side to the other and more of a panorama type feel. So come on into the gallery and we'll take a quick run around and look at all the work I have hung right now. I do do some pieces that are solid six foot pieces. I can do these in horizontal or vertical. Uh, I have some smaller pieces. Two by two is about the smallest I do. I also do a one by four, which we'll see later. So come on around this side. So anyway, um, I've grouped these pieces as being kind of the same monochromatic feel to all of them, somewhat earth tone and neutrals. Uh, this is a new piece here. I really enjoyed doing this piece. It's got a lot of linear structure, but it still has a real soft flowing movement through it. Uh, What's the really, name of that one? Uh, this piece is uh, called Something's Going On. Okay. Here's another curved piece at the top. It's a part of my Zebra Dream series, which you'll see repeated here. I really like the uh, uh, textural graphics in the piece, plus the linear movement from one end to the other. Uh, this piece here, um, the piece at the top has birds which are added at the end uh, after it's woven. Uh, this is a coastal scene. Uh, people uh, really find this to be reminiscent of the beach and the ocean and it's a very popular look. This is a uh, autumn trellis piece. It's got a lot of fall colors. Once again, it's a triptych. Here's an example of one of my one by fours that could be hung vertically or horizontally. This is the yellow fish piece. Um, I have that in other sizes also. So come on around the corner. Here's two more two by six foot pieces that can be vertical or horizontal. This is called Urban Textures. This is a piece, it's a triptych, I only have room for two, it's called Sunspots, it's got a lot of Florida colors. This piece on the wall right here is one of my favorites, it's called On the Edge. It moves from sort of a natural uh, sky with birds into more of a urban setting uh, with a lot of reflection given the feeling of water and the sky. Um, move around the corner here and take a look at these two pieces. These are both two pieces, part of a triptych. Uh, this is uh, Urban Sunrise, and this one's called High Rise. This one's very contemporary. Um, I really like this piece here with the negative neutral space. Okay. Uh, right, so this is High Rise. We're gonna move around the corner and see three uh, brand new ideas that I did. These are. A confetti series. Um, I do these in different colors, both with a neutral white background. Uh, this piece here has a lot of natural tones to it. Uh, the one in the center features uh, the, the blue theme. Uh, and then this one is more of a neutral with teal and a touch of metallics. Uh, the two narrow pieces, top and bottom, are both landscapes. And uh, we can move on around the corner here. This piece on the floor is Carnival. It's uh, one of the brighter pieces I've done. It's got a lot of texture. It's got a lot of highlights to it. 
And uh, in the main room of the gallery, you'll get a wider view. Uh, in the center wall, I've got, once again, a curved triptych of a uh, coastal scene. Um, two other pieces, there's some land sky feel to them. Uh, brand new piece up here. Uh, has some subtle delineation in between areas of texture in this piece. This piece was really difficult to do and um, uh, I like the way it turned out. It's quite different from a lot of my other work. Uh, this piece is called Through the Vines. It actually has grapevines in it with a road leading onto the mountains. Uh, I did this for a winery outside of Abingdon for a show I had. And finally, on this wall here, uh, we've got my Solara piece, which is a very bright piece, features hot and cold areas. Uh, really exciting to look at from all angles. Uh, once again, it's bounded by some more um, landscape type pieces. Uh, the one at the top here is called the Sixth Day, and it's got gulls and a uh, strong horizon line. So anyway, we made it pretty much a trip around the gallery. You can uh, review this, uh, have questions about anything, and contact me. I'll be glad to go over these pieces and talk more about them. Thanks for coming to my gallery, and uh, have a good day. It's, uh